The wheelbase affects two things steering angle and height of pop. Starting from the steering angle, in other words, an ability to turn. When you turn on a skateboard, you'd put your weight on one side of your board, and then you'd be angling your trucks in your board. Now the front truck is trying to go this way, rear truck this way. And if I sum up these vectors, that is the direction of the skateboard to go, which in this case is parallel to the board. So this board has energy to go straight, but it doesn't happen as we know. This is obviously because the trucks are not directed forward. So instead of going forward, the board takes a turn in an arc. This is caused by the difference in travel distances of inner wheels and outer wheels. In this case, you can see the inner wheels travel distance that is described in yellow is shorter than that of outer wheels in red. In other words, within the same duration of time, outer wheels move farther in comparison with inner wheels, hence the turn. The radius of this arc slash circle determines the steering angle. If the radius gets bigger, the steering angle correspondingly gets bigger, and vice versa. Let's take a look at them from this angle. It seems like a skateboard with a wider wheelbase forms a bigger circle, while a skateboard with a narrower wheelbase makes a smaller one. Let's see why this happens and if the wheelbase has anything to do with this. To understand this, first, we have to find the center of this circle. It can be found by calculating an intersection of truck's extensions. In order to simulate how the wheelbase affects the circle, Let's imagine we have a fixed rear truck and three different locations of the front truck. As you can see, the wider the wheelbase is, the farther the intersection becomes, and vice versa. This means, the wider the wheelbase is, the bigger the turning radius and steering angle becomes. Just to be clear, in reality though, the steering angle is largely affected by speed, friction, centrifugal force, elasticity of board, body weight, and many other factors. So please consider this just one way to think about it. Let's move on to the next item, effect on pop. This time, we focus on the distance between trucks only. If we really want to prove the effect of the wheelbase alone, we should extend the central part of the deck without changing the distance between trucks and the nose and tail. But we don't really see trucks like this, do we? So instead of doing that, let's just imagine we have the same deck, and the locations of the trucks are the only difference. And by doing this, we'll be changing the distance between trucks and the nose and tail, so this might not really be an accurate experiment on the impact of the wheelbase. Still, I think it's going to be realistically meaningful and fun to see what it does anyway. Hypothesis There is this common saying that shorter wheelbase needs less energy. In other words, you can pop lighter with shorter wheelbase. Let's see if that really happens. Here we have balls that weigh 1 kilogram each. They are about to fall on the tail from 1 meter above the ground. And just like the previous episode, the balls stop their movement right after the first impact with the tails. Moment of truth. As you can see, the tail of the shorter wheelbase hits the ground, while the one with the longer wheelbase stays in the air. So this one hits the ground. And this one stops right here. So yes, I think it's safe to say the shorter wheelbase allows us to pop lighter. This is not the end of the story though. What if the balls have bigger energy? If I increase the weight of these balls, this is how they look. Now the deck with a shorter wheelbase stays low and the one with the widest wheelbase comes up the highest. 
In this experiment at least, the wider the wheelbase is, the shorter the distance from the rear track to the end of the tail becomes. This allows the board to have more angle by the time the tail hits the ground. In comparison with the one with the shorter wheelbase, it's more obvious, its angle is a lot bigger. But it does have downside too. If the same amount of energy is applied, it takes longer time until the tail hits the ground compared to a deck with a shorter wheelbase. Indeed it pops higher though. If you're still watching, you might be thinking you should buy a deck with the widest wheelbase so you can pop higher. However, as I mentioned before, in kickflips for example, you have to flick out your front foot. Which means, if the nose comes up too strongly, it may become harder to flick it, depending on the timing. So please try to find a deck that suits you the best. And that's all for this episode. Please share your thoughts, I might be saying something wrong. Any question, comment, request are welcome. Thank you for watching as always. Until next time.